again. <laughs> I hate this. My Blair Witch review coming up. Wow, so I guess I just need to come out and say sorry. I actually put on Twitter that I thought that this film was going to be a shaky cam mess. I was very, very convinced of it. And then I actually put on Instagram a picture of me eating my shoe, in which case I said that I will eat my shoe if this movie is not horrible. And all I can say is pass the ketchup because I actually liked this film. So Blair Witch is directed by Adam Wingard and it pretty much tells the story of the 1999 film in the sense that it takes off from a point in that film. So in this story, the younger brother of the sister who went into the woods in the 1999 film has found some footage and he believes that his sister is still alive even though it's 17 years later. So he takes some friends with some high tech gear and they go off into the woods to try and find her and to explore a little bit more about the Blair Witch story. And that's all I'll say without spoiling the film for you. So I was surprised how much I liked this film because I have to tell you that I was not very happy about the 1999 Blair Witch even though a lot of people thought it was very scary. For me it wasn't scary at all and I actually felt like I I wasted a lot of time looking at someone or a group of kids run through the woods with a camera telling a ghost story. So I was pretty sure that this film was going to be more of the same. Now I do have to say that some of the problems I had with this film were some of the problems I had with the original. Probably the biggest problem I had was the shaky cam or the handheld cam. I understand the power of telling the story from a personal point of view or the point of view, the point of view from individuals in the story actually engaged in the events, but you have to pull off shaky cam well and I don't think that Blair which one did it and I don't think that this one did also so that was a little bit irritating uh, for me in this film but it did not irritate me as much as it did in the original because I think that this film tells a better story so I think because I did enjoy the story so much more it was a lot easier for me to forgive some of the shaky cam now let's talk about the story because a lot of people have criticized this film saying that well it is the exact same story as the original Blair Witch and for sure structurally it is the same story essentially but it is told in a much much better fashion. I think visually it's much better and for goodness sakes the sound work is much better and a lot of people have commented on that. The sound work in this film creates a level of tension that really takes this film to another level and I was surprised about that. Now when I saw this movie I was the only one in the movie theater and I'm not a listen I'm not ashamed to tell you that there were times where I was like And I'm looking down because I'm thinking I'm seeing somebody sitting in the seat below me, but I'm the only one in the movie theater. This film projected that type of tension for me. And one of the reasons it was so good is it was always that way. Even when we were going through scenes in the film that may not have been that engaging in terms of the terror factor, you were always on edge with this film. And that is kudos to the sound work done in this film. Someone else said that you cannot see this film at home. And I wanna echo that sentiment. If you go see this film, you have to see it in the movies because you are not going to pick up all of the intricate ambient sound that really makes this film so engaging. So let's talk about some of the cutting in this film because a lot of people have problems with a lot of the jump cuts or jump scares if you like in this film and certainly they were there and I wasn't just overwhelmed with terror when I saw them but some of them were effective enough they made me jump and I didn't hate them like others do and honestly I don't think that you will either. Now the performances in this film I did think were pretty good. Some pointed out that there was some overacting here and there but not too much not enough to be annoying to me and actually I thought they were pretty good in terms of lending themselves to the tension that this film brought on screen. So the ending of this film actually ends in a pretty tense way and I do have to say that they do a good job explaining some things earlier on in the film that we do see towards the ending and paying some homage to the old movie where we see some things that we recognize as motifs of just the Blair Witch movies. But there were some things at the end of this movie that I didn't really quite understand and that was a little bit problematic for me but all in all this was actually a pretty good film. I am giving Blair Witch a B. I was wrong about this one. It was actually pretty good.